last night I was from pizza mode, and my mom left me alone in the car. He's supposed to be supervising me, I thought. He's a bad mom. I guess what really scares me is the fact that she cares more about the dog at this point than she does me. Why? I'm, I'm important. I'm a favorite daughter. I'm the only daughter, but she likes me more, more than my brother. I really want some Chinese food right now. But no mom can order it for me. So no mom! Well, my brother was supposed to videotape me after my surgery, but he's not here either with my mom, so I'm documenting my own experience by myself. It's been 20 minutes since my mom left. i tell you what, whatever drug my doctor put me on, thank you. I feel great. You know, it's just it's crazy how good you can feel after a surgery. And I move four of your little baby teeth. I wish I could have seen my teeth. They didn't show me. They also told me I couldn't record in the doctor's office. Which I was like, I'm upset. You know, I want to become a YouTube sensation off this. All I want is to be famous. But no one wants to help me. Why does everyone hate me? I don't think my mom understands that I'm Beyonce. And I need to listen to my concert right now. I have no so far. That's a monster in my house. Update, mom just came back with the meds, so she came meds, but she left again, but before she did, she made me chocolate mousse, so I guess she's kind of okay. No matter what I say at this point, I want everyone to know I really love my mom. It's just today she's just making some bad decisions, and I don't know how to teach her about that. Cause I'm her daughter and she's my mom. So, I don't know what to do anymore. She's gonna have to go for a timeout. Have you ever wanted to love, like, the love that the parents, rap mom and dad have? That's what I want. I want to be able to have a love like that, but my mom told me I can't pick up on any guys looking like this, so it may take a couple days for me to find a love like that, which is kind of sad. On that same note, Dennis McQuaid's really hot. Like, really hot. Why can't any 20 year old guys look like Dennis McQuaid? That's the real question I have. I've also always wanted to go to England. There's such cool accents there. Like, hello, governor. Would you like some tea with your crumpets? I'm really good at a British accent. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Miss Congeniality is such a huge drama. It's crazy. I'm scared. You know, Sandra Bullock's kind of a badass. She's pretty awesome. 
Fair Maze I never thought about that. She plays so many movies. Plays so many different characters. And she's so pretty, you know, she's got such natural skin. You know? She she should get an award for that, you know, beautiful skin. That I should make that I should make it an award. I wouldn't get it though, you know, I'm still in puberty, so I have a little bit of acne left, so You know, there's all these commercials for this food and everything. They tell you after wisdom teeth surgery you're not gonna be hungry. You don't wanna eat anything, but I'll tell you what, I could go for a real good steak, some pasta, you know, just the whole works. I guess I'm always hungry and that's kind of a blessing and a curse. I'm a very healthy person for the most part, but it's a curse because now I can't eat. I don't eat like smoothies or applesauce or mousse. I like chocolate mousse. You know, I have a very big range in my palate. So. Hey, I have a confession. I've been making videos the whole time that you were gone. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make myself famous online. And since Brad wasn't here, and you weren't here to videotape me, I did it myself. I have no more storage on my phone now, too. Well, this is me signing off to everybody. I'm getting pretty sleepy, so it's probably at the end of all the fun that I've shared with you all, so... I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. So, peace out. Bye.